Well, there you go. It's recording. Is it? Talk bikes. Right. Basically, that one wins. Game over. <laughs> Thanks for that, then. That's Great. the best Cheers. one, are you? Thanks. You can't really put that in the same category, but it's nice for comparison just how different they are. I think, for context, worth pointing out that uh, actually we've done a lot of riding over the last two days, haven't we? Yeah. It's been quite nice. It's Very a rare nice. treat because it's been a while since I've been up and riding with. I think I rode with you more recently, Martin. It's been a bit of a stretch. Yeah. So it was nice getting out with Martin. Uh, just to point out as well, by the way, um, we've got Dad's bike here, Martin's old bike, Dad's bike. We've got Martin's bike here, my brother, and we've got my bike over there. We've done a fair amount of miles. We've done some swapping, and I actually think I, I timed that perfectly with my swaps yesterday. Okay. Because I got a nice open section with this, yeah. a twisty section with that, yeah. and a really open section with that. Yeah. So I got them all at their strengths, which was quite nice. Um, but you just rode this one today for the first time. I did, yeah. And I I'm, think fair to say you didn't necessarily enjoy it. You know, well, it wasn't about necessarily enjoying it. I enjoyed the learning, and I enjoyed the stretching myself. Mm -hmm. um, because it's not my style of riding I'm more of an upright rider mm -hmm. so I'm glad that I picked that for the twisties yesterday and not this because yeah. I wouldn't have enjoyed this on the twisties I wouldn't have enjoyed down the twisties though um, but then I, this is what we, we talked about this earlier I used to own the, the thousand version of this you and did. I enjoyed myself yesterday but it absolutely clicked back into place uh, this afternoon on this uh, and I got totally back into the groove it's a big heavy bike mm -hmm. um, but it is just so capable it's just my <laughs> style of riding because it's upright there's no weight on your hands which unlike this below a certain speed all the weight's on the front bars and it's not nice at all I, I just found it a little bit intimidating it's and another thing that I like about bikes and I can compare the two is yeah. I like to sit in a bike not on a bike yeah this you sit in it yeah that you sit on it you definitely sit on that yeah you definitely sit in this as yes. well you probably even more so than that yeah I would say um, and I was saying before we've got a street triple in the garage and last summer I was using your street triple and I had to yeah. give it a massive amount of respect yeah because it's a very capable bike. It's a really nice bike. Probably just over the top of my capabilities to get everything out of the bike. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed knowing that the bike had more to give than I could give it. It's nice when it's not so extreme. If the bike was so much better than you, yeah. and you just sort of feel intimidated every time you sat on it, yeah. That's no fun for anyone. But if it feels like it just pushes you slightly outside your comfort zone. Well, you've always got something got to learn. To yeah, for. you've got you've got a little bit You've it, got something it, to aim for. Yeah, exactly. It feels like you've got something to aim for and it feels like it's achievable. To yeah. me, I don't enjoy a bike that has got way more to give than I could even possibly imagine achieving. Yeah, That's I why that. I like the Monster because the Monster is exactly where I'm up to. I'll go 80 mile an hour everywhere on that would you say part of that though is also the roads that you're riding that on yes because if it was there are certain roads where that would maybe feel a little lacking like yes. if you took down a track for example and you're more of a track rider no I'm not you, I'm, you, I'm, but I'm, if you were you might be frustrated on that yes right? I'm absolutely not a track rider I am not quick on the track I'm quicker on the road because I cut my teeth basically Timothy might have said before I'm a truck driver at heart so I've done a so lot that of mileage. Was comfortable to I've you. Done, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it is. It's, it it is. But it is. It's. You use the weight. You can't yeah, fight the yeah, weight. Yeah. You have to use. But you've the driven weight. lots of different things. We've gone through your bike history. You've before. ridden more bikes than me. I actually think I have a now, lot yeah. more. But bikes you've than owned me. more bikes than me, and you've got so no. much more riding experience, which is evident. And it's really nice, actually. So following you on that, one thing it was really nice. It's just a nice bike to look at from the back, but it also. Is, yeah. <laughs> which was handy because I got a long time to look at it from the back because you're seriously quick on it but it was nice watching it because I could tell that it's a bike that you feel comfortable on Death. that you've owned for a while yeah. and it, like I say it just must have felt like coming home because when you were on it like the leans you get on and the nice thing as well because I watched you go around the same sort of corners it gave me more confidence sitting yeah. back on it because I go well I know it'll do it because I've yeah, seen it just exactly. do it a few corners back there yeah and it was really nice uh, to hop no. on that, and I got a massive appreciation for that. You don't think you don't think it, but it's one of those bikes that you just got to hold. If you get the corner wrong, you've got to hold your heart in your mouth, <laughs> and know it will go further. It will peg yeah. surf all day long, right? It will go right yeah. the way over. It's got more to give. Yeah. yeah. So um, the weight. I will. I'll be honest. I've been awful at heavy bike for a long time. Yeah. Coming from the little monster, which is more my regular ride now, back yeah. to this, I was a little bit hesitant yesterday. I thought I'm not going to enjoy it, but I couldn't be further from the truth. It was like getting back on an old 
an old friend an old friend or an old Hello. horse or getting back yeah. on an old friend maybe you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Give me a feedback. <laughs> no, it was nice though. Uh, I personally, out of all the bikes I rode that day, uh, yesterday, and obviously now I own it, I've got a long time to ride it, but that I think was my favourite from yesterday. I mean, the difference from going from certain bikes is you notice where you're maybe you've got limitations. Like on this one, for example, I started to figure out that I was gripping the bars a bit too tight yeah. and I had to relax my wrist off because yeah. I, was, I was a bit too, you know... Um, staggered and kind of choppy with my throttle on it and it was bugging me and then when I started to ease off my wrist um, it started to flow and sort of gel with the bike a bit better with this one I was just going too much and sort of trusting the tyres committed too much into the corner and I wasn't really flowing as smoothly yep. and then with that one I'm still the same rider I'm still doing the same roads but it just sort of ironed out all my little imperfections and made me better um, as far as I could see from yesterday yeah so I think that was what I quite liked about that is that it made me a slightly better rider. I yeah, think. I've always said that Hondas are really good at letting you ride it at where your head is, right? The monster is like a Jack Russell on a lead. It just wants to go <laughs> or stop, go stop, go stop, go yeah. stop. And if you're not in the mood for that, it's not partic- it, It's not as in. As in I know what you but- mean because when we got on, when, so when I was on that for for the roads we were doing, I was just yeah, I was. It's a toy. I was wired. I was. It was like I just had a, an yeah. espresso, and I was like, "Can you just?" Yeah. <laughs> I was just sort of seeing how close I could get it down to the pegs, and you know, firing out of corners, really, really enjoying the kind of talky punch from it. Um, and then, yeah, I got on that, and it was, it was just flowing, absolutely flowing, yeah. instead of, yeah, go stop, go stop. I'm glad to say that I've still got a very big soft spot for this. I'm glad to hear that Definitely, as well. Yeah. I'm a I little re- bit gutted because re- I know this is probably going to be the only time you get to ride that and then it will be gone by the next time I'm up. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah, so if anybody was thinking about it and uh, was intimidated about its size and its weight, don't be. Yeah. Really don't be. I would happily use this as a daily commute in somewhere um, in a major well, city. And I do, and it's actually, yeah, yeah it's fine. It's, it is absolutely th- this, fine. W- this at uh, 20 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour um, through major cities drafting would be a pain it would it's going to hurt your wrist isn't it and yeah. that one is going to be like you say stop start stop start and it's just going to be lumpy too lumpy on the end. you're going to have to tease the clutch a lot the only yeah. thing I'd say about that and I think it's probably because it has eaten through the chain and it's not um, as even with the power because of it um, it really doesn't like being restrained so if you're going down to like 30, 20 or something whatever you're slowing down to um pony just wants to gallop it does not want to go down no too lower far. speeds yeah it wants to sit even revs is fine but it wants to accelerate yeah. and as soon as you start rolling off the throttle it just goes, eh, 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 yeah. eh, and you've got to tease the uh, clutch right yeah a little bit too much but other than that turning circles great turning you know, circles fantastic weight is never an issue yeah. unless you park it and then it really requires your shoulders visibility is great mirrors are fantastic yeah. even they don't get knocked by vans and cars too much no. and it ain't half bad looking as well lovely let's park them up Every, if, when you're taking one of these out, if that's chasing you, you've got to work hard to stay in front of that with any one of these, even for a much lesser bike and a much less yeah, CC. Yeah, well, yeah, you always you look in the mirrors and you're like, you always do a lot yeah. of that. Yeah. You always yeah. sort of see what you were in the pack. You're going along yeah. and you're just like, you're going, oh, that felt quick. I was all right. And you're like, I wonder, yeah, he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> for God's sake. 